Teachers were out truly in an energy crisis. Um, families um, face paying 400 more euro more for their electricity and heating this winter, according to an analysis carried out by uh, Charlie Weston of the Irish Independent. It's quite obvious, and Deputy Kelly raised it earlier. The crisis deepened last week when um, Energy announced that a third rise uh, for 200,000 residential uh, customers. The crisis must be addressed in the forthcoming budget issue. And not only for households, but for everybody who travels to work, school, or indeed for business and industry. But I'm mainly concerned today about the cost of living for people trying to heat and light their homes. So the budget must uh, take cognizance of this. And indeed, last year's budget uh, included a carbon increase for the next nine years until 2030 that we can't even discuss or debate or vote on here. So something has to happen to help these hard-pressed people. It's crucial to introduce measures that will ease the burden on families and uh, because of rising energy costs. Across Europe, governments are implementing uh, energy tax cuts and subsidies to support its citizens. So far in Ireland, the government has buried your head in the sands. Globally, gas price, uh, um, prices are rising to record levels due to higher demand caused by the economic uh, recovery and, and our COVID epidemic. Some 60% of energy use in this country still comes from fossil fuels to understand. So far this year, there have been 25 different electricity and price uh, hikes, 25. Uh, across a number of companies. Different electricity and gas prices um, announced uh, range from 14 different providers, yet there have been absolutely no response. Where is the re energy regulator here? Or where are the government and Minister for Energy? The impact will only become truly apparent when the cold weather uh, comes in and the long evenings and uh, the, the lack of sunshine. We're lucky at the moment with the pleasant weather. For example, last week Energy announced that electricity prices are to go up by almost 16% next month, with a rise of 18.5% in gas prices. Um, stated. The comp company's three electricity prices this year will add an extra 450 to the household's uh, costs, 450 euro. Energy have, have blamed surging costs um, in global energy markets. A number of energy providers in this market have announced four price increases this year, with um, larger providers expected to rise uh, again. This means some families will face up to 500 euro extra, just on energy alone to keep the lights on and keep warm. Uh, Derek Cassidy of a uh, price comparison uh, site, Bonkers.ie, said that various price announcements would mean an average increase of 400 in energy bills this winter. It's truly shocking. And I mean, saying you're acknowledged and you knew inflation was coming some time ago. Yes, you did. But how are we going to deal with it? Efforts must be made in the budget for people on social welfare, old age pensioners, carers, and indeed all households that are suffering from economic uh, from fuel poverty, which they will be pushed into this, and you must take swift action. Price increases of this magnitude and frequency are totally unsustainable. Thank and you, Deputy. It's creeping up. You can see the pumps are, uh, when you pass them by. You see the price of energy. So something has to happen here. The regulator must be asked or someone proud of to wake up. Thank this you, can't Deputy. be allowed. Tarnished it. Thanks. Um, Thanks, Deputy, uh, and you're absolutely right, and we, we've all seen it in the past couple of weeks. Um, the price is ticking up in the forecourts, going up uh, every other day. Uh, we see it in the cost of home heating oil. As I mentioned earlier, €450 Euros to fill a tank this time last year, closer to 700 now. Uh, and we see it, of course, uh, in the rising price of electric electricity. Uh, we also all understand this house, um, that when it comes to fuel prices, uh, we as a nation are price takers. Um, it's governed by the international price of a barrel of oil, uh, or of gas, or of coal, uh, and we're price takers in that regard. Um, what we can do uh, is a welfare package in the budget, helping those on fixed incomes, action on the fuel allowance, pay increases where they can be afforded, important that they happen, uh, and also a tax package to make sure that people uh, retain those pay increases and they don't lose uh, most of them uh, in USE and income tax and PRSI. Uh, in terms of regulation, the regulator has a role to play, of course it does, but the regulator can't reduce the price of oil on the international markets or the price of gas coming from Russia. Um, if that goes up, prices go up here. And it does show the long-term challenge that we face in moving away from oil and gas uh, to renewable f fuels, uh, the price of which can be much more steady, uh, or at least we expect it to be. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, gas prices have now, since, have now been rising steadily since March 2021 for a variety of international and geopolitical reasons and are currently unreasonably high, putting upwards pressure on wholesale electricity prices. Uh, this isn't just affecting Ireland, it's affecting other EU member states. 
and it is going to be discussed at this week's meeting of European Energy Ministers in Slovenia, and Minister Ryan is there at the moment. Uh, it should be <coughs> emphasised, however, that international wholesale energy prices are not expected to stay at this high level indefinitely. Mindful of this, the government provides extensive supports for households in terms of energy costs via welfare schemes. For example, there are specific schemes aimed at those at risk of energy poverty, including the household benefits package and the fuel allowance. A review of the implementation of the strategy to combat energy poverty will be completed this year, and alleviating energy poverty will be a key consideration for the natural, national retrofit framework, which will also be published later this year. Uh, the living alone allowance was increased in budget 2021, a um, very important allowance helping people who are living alone who often have to bear on their own uh, the cost of, of heating an entire house uh, and ministers are considering uh, the possibility of a further increase uh, in the budget. Uh, also when it comes to the carbon tax it's important to bear in mind that uh, the proceeds of any increase in the carbon tax will be ring fenced uh, for climate action and also to, pr to, to protect those most exposed to higher fuel and energy costs uh, as well as supporting a just transition for displaced workers and to invest in climate action. Thank you, Tonish, to Deputy McGrath. These takes pause, the fastest going on with that ring fencing of the carbon tax money. It's not happening. The SAI have a two and a half year uh, wait, waiting list. Uh, Tonish, in Spain at the moment, electricity taxes are being cut temporarily and uh, windfall grants for energy uh, are being supported. And, um, Italy has injected 1.2 billion into the energy system to reduce bills. In Greece, the government is planning uh, to offer energy subsidies to uh, the majority of households. And the French government is considering extending energy grants to households. And astonishingly, in Ireland, the Environment Minister and Emily Ryan's department have failed to outline any plans. This is shocking. The fat rate must be cut in the budget, like it was for hospitality, from 13.5% down to 5% at least, because we have to deal with this now. No point in talking what might happen and live harsh and you get grass. I mean, for hauliers, agricultural contractors, public transport, you name it, ordinary people going to work. And the people forced to stay at home and work from home must eat their houses for longer and the energy they use as well. So we're in the crisis now and we have time to deal with in advance of the budget. We in the rural independence have put forward proposals for the budget uh, uh, package. We must deal with this because you said it's not going to last. Well, Thank it's lasting deputy. long enough and it's happening now, incremental increases and people are frozen in their homes. Elderly, widows, you name them. You know, it's just not good Thank enough, you, uh, people Thomas. who are ill. So we have to deal with it now. Tonish, to, to conclude, please. Yeah, thanks, um, thanks, Deputy. We'd certainly be happy and be genuinely happy to consider any proposals that the Rural Independents have uh, for the uh, forthcoming budget. Um, just to be clear, uh, it is going to last, unfortunately. Um, we don't know how long uh, these high energy prices will last for, but it could be six months, it could be longer. And of course, that is during uh, the winter period uh, when energy demand uh, is at its highest. Uh, in relation to energy efficiency, which you mentioned earlier, um, the budget for SEAI's residential and community retrofit programs um, has been increased. It was increased over 109 million uh, in 2021, uh, up from only 47 million the year before. So I acknowledge there is a waiting list, but the budget has more than doubled, uh, and that will help us get a lot more done.